You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to have you stop by today because I've been wanting to make this video since I got my newest whizzer because, well, I've had a few requests as well. By the way, if you're just stopping by, thank you. And if you're new to the channel, thank you very much. If you're a regular, thank you to you too. If you can, leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, especially if you watch the video all the way through. That will help us. All right, on to the business now. I have a 1969 Wizard. This is a 2009 Wizard and then a 2017 Wizard. I have had requests to actually compare them spinning, and then I thought, well, we got to get a little deeper than that. How about we check out the tips, check out the weights, and then dismantle one of each so we can kind of look inside see the mechanicals, and learn more about them. Hopefully you'll have fun watching that as I saw them apart. Well, I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to take them apart, but I definitely want to break out some kind of tool. So when I come back, let's do this. I'll go one by one and show you the 60s one through to the 2017, so you can just kind of see the packaging, check out the wizard, and then we'll progress along. Hopefully, eventually, we'll be spinning these and seeing how they spin. All right, so let's start with this 1969 wizard. Now, this one is not the one on the box, so I will take out this one because it is a different shape. You know, all these tricks, balances, teeters, I've done some of these on video for you. Today's not going to be trick day. It's going to be let's just compare day. And not much more to it. As you can see, it is a Mattel Wizard from 1969. The one that's in there is this shape of Wizard. And they always had these trick books you can get inside the boxes. And I believe I've shown that in more te detail. And then this Wizard was actually in this box. Now, I don't have a ton of early Mattel Wizards with a little slots in the box, which show you the color of the Wizard. And then here's a couple extra I just have. These are the ones I can dismantle and take apart. But I have noticed now, one quick thing, is that the tips from the new wizards work really good on these older wizards. So that's for another day. I'm not going to spin this one. Let's move on to the next one, and we will check it out. All right, so the 2009s, they all had a character on them. And they were part of this battling top, so they want more into the fighting parameters and they had these bases each one had a unique base they also had like a strap in here to connect them i'll show you when it says somewhere on the package i have to look now these kinds of bases weren't in the earlier ones but this little combination was let's see collect them all battle ninjas dinos and bugs for bio world supremacy battle belt included for head-to-head -head combat rev up your wizard to a sizzling 10,000 RPMs. Train your wizard, master all tricks and stunts. Right there, battle belt included. So there was 12 different color versions or character versions for this wizard at this time, the Bio series. There was the Bio Ninja, the Bio, Bio Ninja, Bio Ninja, Bio Bug, and Biosaurus. So I had one of each, I guess. That looks like it's from the Biosaurus. And they each had their own name, so they're really trying to characterize i guess these for battling all right let me move on now to the last one here from 2017. all right so now the newest wizards and these are from a company called super impulse and they sent me a bunch to check out on video as you can see now there are two different shapes just like the original wizards so they introduced this shape which is pretty much this shape we'll compare them just to make sure and then let's check out the packaging. You see they have the same little opponent uh, component accessories. They're in the pack there. I'll have to take one out at some point. And then they're also naming these and coloring these with special themes. You have Geo, Orbit, Subatomic. Uh, what's that last one? Pixelator. And then I'm not sure which one. Oh, I have right now Circuit Force, which is the one out of the package. This one I like the most, the Comic Blast. It had comic words on it like crack and splash and kapow. All right. So, oh, there is the little cone piece on the top of this on the packaging. All right. So we've seen the packaging for all three. Now let's bring the three wizards back in. Check out the tips, check out the weights, check out the sizes, and compare them in that way. All right, so now we can check out some more characteristics of the pieces that came with each one. As you can see now, the older one and the newer one, they really tried to have a similar color scheme. 
This one's orange, of course, and blue. And the one in the middle, all red, also all the pieces for this one are smaller. Plus you will see that the actual whizzer is smaller. Look at the difference in height. It's about maybe a quarter of an inch shorter. Let's just compare now the new one to the original one. I think these look more the same. They're almost exactly the same height, I would say. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch off. And then looking at the red piece here, this is definitely shorter than a yellow piece. And then let's compare the two. The ends are different, I noticed that. This has got a little bit bigger ball on the end. This is a smaller ball. A little bit longer on the right, and then this little connecting piece is a different shape and design. And then the bases for all three. You can see already the shortest one. This one actually looks to be the most uh, thickest and quality, this new one here, than one of the original ones. But now you get the idea on the component pieces. And then this one also had this band. I'm not sure if I read that right on the packaging. I think they had called it the, what do they call it? The battle belt. So yeah, that would be the battle belt. This actually went on the outside and then it would actually help them keep the wizards from probably scratching because it was a rubber, like a rubber band. All right, enough said there. Well, let's try this here. Let's see if we take this one. By the way, that's the bases that came with these. I think that's pretty cool. That's a nice added feature that 2009 ones had that the other ones didn't have. All right, so this is the original piece from an original wizard. It doesn't really fit in there that well. Let's just see. This being shorter locks in better. Okay, so there is some difference there. And then, ooh, don't do that. And of course, this is an original one. Let's see. Pushes down a little farther. Well, let's see how that works on this one. Okay, it does not work. So these do not work on the new ones. Let's go the other way. A little bit different design. Okay, that seems to be better. Let's see. Oh, by the way, this. Let me see. Let's try this on this one. It doesn't fit in at all, so there is a difference. This locks in really nice. Let's see if this one, did I try this one? Uh, it actually does work better. So it seems like the 2009 ones have a more, uh, a closer relationship in regard to the additional pieces. All right, let's move these out. I have a scale nearby. For those of you that aren't wizard fans, I know this is probably not your type of video, but we're learning about toys. So if you're just like toys in general, hopefully you can see some benefit to this video. Comparing different ones. Okay, here's an original wizard. 2.5. All right, let's take this one here. 2.2, so it is lighter. And then let's reach around for this one. 2.3, so we see there is a difference. Let me just put this one back on there so we can... Oop, oh, that's zero. Let's zero it again. 2.5, 2.4, 2.3, so that's kind of where we're at. And then this is the lightest of the three. 2.2, all right. The tips while I'm here are all different. Different shape and different design. Let me see if I can zoom in the closest I can to these. Do a quick camera change here. Hopefully nothing falls off the tripod here. They are all different. Look at that. Now, when you played with wizards, I don't know if you remember playing with wizards, the tips would crack, the tips would come off, the tips would slide up and down. This one here, I'm going to say the newest ones, this tip slides off real easy. This part is completely different than ooh, an original one. Look at the original wizard tip. Okay. It's too close. Let me zoom out. <laughs> there we go. Here, let me just set them down. Okay, you can see there's a difference. And then this one, I could tell you, this is the hardest tip to remove. So however this is pressure fitted on, is probably the best out of all three, but it's also the smallest and the 
hardest to move in regards to shape. It's a little harder. These are a little softer. This is softer. It's squishy. This one, not as squishy. And then the original ones, you have to be careful, also not as squishy. But one thing I noticed was I took this one off of this and put it on my original one, and it locked on pretty nice. See that? So if you have them without the tips, grab one, grab some of these if you want to switch them out. That's such a classic wizard sound. I know, it's about time I actually spun one for you. So the tips are not supposed to come off like that. You don't want them to. On this, it slips off quite a bit more. This knurled end here, I believe should be a little bit more pronounced because this slides real easy. I noticed that. Okay, I spun them. All right, might as well. I don't want you leaving the video. See, so feel the tip on my countertop? It doesn't grip as good because it's not as soft. Okay, so that aspect is all done. I think I need to cut into the three. I've picked out my three, so now I want to check out the insides. Oh, by the way, height. Let's just see. You should be able to tell by this. The two these two are pretty close. It seems like this one's a little bit taller. Definitely the shortest would be on the Duncan version. So now we know it's shorter, it weighs less, the tip is harder, and uh, on my countertop definitely doesn't work as nice as this one. This is the softest tip and works the best on this countertop. All right, so let's take them apart. Let me grab, I think I was gonna use a hacksaw. Let me grab a hacksaw. It might be the easiest, most friendliest way to get into each of these, and I'll be right back. All right, I am set. I've decided a different tool. I figured this would be more fun using my Dremel Moto tool. You will see it spins. I've got a cutting wheel on it. So I can adjust the speed. And then I'll go with the older one first. The reason I'm picking this one is because it's already cracked. Now, here's one thing I do want to say, a public service announcement. Don't try this at home if you're not a professional wizard cutter like I am. And also, I don't really like destroying toys. If you notice my videos, I'm always trying to fix, repair, and bring them back to life. I'm not one for cutting. You see a lot of videos on YouTube, cutting, smashing, burning, destroying. Just not a good way to take care of your stuff. And not a good lesson for kids. All right, that's my public service announcement. Now, let's see. I figure I could just hold this in my hand. I got a nice leather glove for protection, eyewear for protection. And then I can, let's see, this one's already partially broke, so I just need to kind of go from here back. Let's just see how this works. Okay. I don't need to go too deep. I see the guts already. It is melting it, so that's part of it, I guess. It smells like melted rubber or plastic. I'm not, trying not to go too deep because I don't want to actually hurt any of the guts. Ooh, nice. All right, so now we're in our first wizard. Let's see. All right, so if I knock this tip out, it should come out of the case. There it is. That's all it is. It's a metal disc-like object that just spins inside really fast the plastic. There's no other gearing, there's nothing else really supporting it. Oh, this must have been, ooh, where was this piece? I didn't see this. This must have been in the cap as a protector of this pin. So that sat in like that, and see how that rides in there? So basically all the work is happening on this piece. And then there's another piece which was probably inside here, which fell out and I didn't see it. That's actually holding the main piece in place like that. Oh, that fell out. 
stuck to my glove, the little plastic shards. All right, so that one's in there like that. All right, so now we know this one and the pieces. So let's go to 2009. Are you ready to cut another one? I am. The reason I have the glove on is just for protection. If it slips. I could have also put it in the clamp, but I would have had to keep moving it quite a bit to see what I'm doing. Does it seem like this one is a little thicker, the plastic? It does to me. Okay. Aha. All right, same inner piece. The plastic itself, uh, it's pretty close. This piece is in here as well, but it's actually fixed in there a little bit better, almost pressed. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this tip off. Well, this tip has to go because it's hard to take off by pressure. I probably could if I get a couple tools. Let me just see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so scratch what I said earlier. It is harder to take off, but it's more similar to the tip on that other one. So here we go. All the pieces now should come out. See, that's got that insert in there. So we could pop that one out. Okay, totally different look to that. Let's see if we can get this one out. Maybe try it with a little scissors to kind of work it out. Okay, so this one feels like it's glued in. Okay, wrong tool. But look at the difference. This has a plastic shape on it. Okay. And that comes off. And then you have this disc, which almost just looks like three washers. Seriously, like they're glued together. Okay, last one now. One of my new ones. Let's save the tip. I wonder if this tip will work on one of the older ones. Oh yeah, it will. Okay. I don't know if it'll stay on. You'd have to test that, but it looks like it. What does this say on the inside? Something numbers. Okay. All right. Let's see how close this last one is to either of the two. Here we go. Wizard number three. Ooh, I don't want to go that fast. Oh, I do want to go a little faster. Okay, sadly, I'm all done. I thought that was quite fun. Okay, well, look at that. Totally different, different again. Okay, so that piece, even the inside area is a little bit different. Okay, there, this piece is, this was to this one. That's to that, that's to that. I'll, here's what I'll do, I'll collect them all and do a quick reference check here. Right now, two washers. I'm telling you, they look like washers. This cap is a totally different design as well. And then this inner piece is on this one. It's similar to that one, different shape. This one is cast and looks to be the reason why it's probably going to spin the best. It's got the most weight. Definitely the most weight. Um, other than that. I think we have now accomplished it. Here we go. So that's all the pieces to that one. Here's all the pieces to this one. These two pieces are also similar, not exact. So they're obviously using different uh, molds and different dies 
So it's not the original ones in any way. All right, let's see. let's do that. Let's do that. The tip there, there. Okay, and that's all the pieces. Okay, let me just give you a quick zoom in so you can study that and now see how different they really are. I hope that helped in some way. So I think I need to spin them now. I think we've done all of that. I need to change my top because I've already dirtied it up from the few tests that I did. And then I will come back now and do some spinning. Without, the, not these of course, some different ones. All right, here we go. Number one, I decided to bring in a plate, mainly because it will try to focus the whizzer into the center and hopefully spin a lot longer. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start the spinning. Now, if you're not aware, I have been, and I always try to keep as much content in the video as possible, but that's hurting the channel more and more because YouTube does not like when people either skip videos stop videos or don't watch all the way through so that's another reason why we took out skip times we thought skip times were pretty cool because people can like check out different sections and watch the video but in essence that has hurt the channel so we stopped doing that as well so here's what i'm gonna do i'll just spin it i'll cut most of the content out and then let you see it actually ending the spin now me personally i'd like to keep it all in but for the people that don't enjoy this and don't want to watch all the way through that hurts lucky penny shop so here we go Ooh, not a good one. Get the right angle. Ooh, nice one. Here we go. All right, I think that's pretty cool when it slows down and starts to wobble. So here goes the next one. I'll try to keep it at three. Okay, last but not least, my actual favorite design one. This one here. The Crack Whack, no, Crack, Thwack, and Splash. Here we go, three nice turns.
All right, that was pretty cool. I really like the way that, and now this actually moved up slightly, I think from when I did the spin. So that you have to watch out for. Now here is the one that had the bad tip, remember? Let me grab one of the two tips. Let me grab the tip from the 2009 and see if that slides on and stays on. Hmm, how about we try this one real quick? Now I was gonna say, if I did this test like five times, it'd probably be the only way to get an average to see which one spins the most. But from just watching it, it seemed they're all pretty close. I won't know till I get final numbers, but let me just, let me get this out of here and just kind of spin a few more. So here is a vintage wizard with a 2009 spinner piece. Here we go. Here's one I haven't spun. This is an older one. Whoa! Did you see that one shoot? This one's not barely spinning, but it's just standing up on its own. Pretty cool. You get a really oh, that tip slipped up just slightly. Oh, there it is. It's coming off. All right, let me try the tip from the 2017 on this one and see if it works any better. Here we go. It's staying. You got a nice gyro scope there. Super nice spin on that one. I would have to bring the plate in to really get a good assessment. It moved just a little. So it seems like all of them move just a little, no matter what you do. Wow, that one's going fast. Cool. Here, you battle this one. Oh, I lost my tip. <laughs> this one really flies around when it hits the edge. I wonder if it's the, the shape and design when it hits the edge because this one's a little more rounded on the bottom. It hits this piece and kind of stays in. This one doesn't have that extra edge there, so it hits and then it just flies. Not a good example. Let me do these one more time. Then I think I'm gonna come back here. Oh, I lost the tip. All right, I'll be right back. All right, there you go. You just saw me chop open three different wizards and then uh, show them spin, learn about all the different pieces that go with them. Looking at the one, the newest one, the way that's designed with this plastic piece here 
and then these here. I wonder if that's a balancing thing. Maybe they found out that if you do that, it doesn't have that initial wobble. It seemed to spin a little bit better when it started. Not sure exactly. It's one of those things that uh, you'd have to ask the toy designer. But now we could see what went into each of the different three. Got an idea about weight, about size, and how they spin. Overall, I would say they all still work pretty good and fun to play with. The original one does have a unique sound to it as you spin it, that's for sure. And let me know in the comments what you think of this kind of video. If you can, please, pretty, 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 please, give it a thumbs up, share it on social media, leave a comment, try to watch the whole thing if you can, because that really helps. And as always, I do appreciate it, and thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.